Hello everyone, I am the Guardian. Let's search for those in need of first aid. I poked the beehive with a branch and the bees are all out to sting me. Bees will attack intruders to protect themselves. Don't screw around with them. If you suffer from a bee sting, remove the bee sting with tweezers first. Remember not to squeeze the bee sting. Let's make soapy water together. Alkaline soapy water can neutralize the acid poison from the wound. Put an ice pack on the wound to reduce the swelling and alleviate the pain. If you develop nausea and vomiting after a bee sting, please go to the hospital for treatment immediately. Okay, thank you, Guardian. You're welcome. Is it right to see a doctor immediately after a bee sting? You are right. That's the right thing to do. You're awesome. Congratulations on winning a badge! Is it right to hide a bee sting from the teacher at the kindergarten? You are right, that's not correct. Is it right to slap the bees landing on body with hands? Try again. You are right, that's not correct. Is it right to use soapy water to clean the wound after a bee sting? You are right. That's the right thing to do. You're great. Congratulations on winning a badge. Is it right to stay away from bees in sight? You are right. That's the right thing to do. You're awesome. Congratulations on... Ah, what shall we do? Make a wet towel first. Covering your nose and mouth with a wet towel can filter the smoke out of the air and reduce the intake of toxic gas. Check if the doorknob is hot before opening the door first. Do not touch the doorknob with your palms as you might get injured. In case of fire, touch the doorknob with the back of your hands. Ah, it's burning hot! The door is burning hot! That means the fire is coming our way! Keep the door shut! When trapped indoors by fire, you should immediately call for help from balconies or windows. 
do not call out for help for too long. Keep your strength up and wait for rescue. Touch the doorknob with the back of your hands. If the doorknob is not hot, then check if there's smoke in the corridor. If there's no smoke, evacuate as quickly as possible. When the fire breaks out, you should find an emergency exit sign right away and follow the directions to evacuate as quickly as possible. Drag the injured and follow the direction indicated by the emergency exit to locate the exit. After an earthquake strikes or a fire breaks out, it's dangerous to take the elevator. Let's take the stairs. My arm was scalded. It hurts. I am coming to give first aid. Rinse with clean water to cool the wound. Cut off the clothing near the wound. You need to go to the nearby hospital for further treatment. Okay, Kiki, thank you so much. You're welcome. How should we perform self-rescue when the fire breaks out? Let's review. 1. Cover your nose and mouth with a wet towel. 2. Keep the door shut if it's burning hot. 3. Call for help from balconies or windows. 4. Stay calm and wait for rescue. Perform self-rescue from fire to evacuate safely. 1. Cover your nose and mouth with a wet towel. 2. If the doorknob is not hot, Open the door to check if there's smoke. 3. Bend forward and proceed to locate emergency exit. 4. Take the stairs instead of 